Principle number six, pay 10% of your income to tithing. Give even if you're really broke. Giving puts your mindset in the, giving puts you in a mindset of abundance and puts your, puts any financial worries in the proper perspective. So tithing, if you don't know what that is, it talks about it in the Old Testament of the Christian Bible, that you should give 10% or the first 10% of your fruits and your labor to the church. And tithing actually means 10%. All religions have some tithing type of tithing. And so whether you're Buddhist, Hindu, Christian, Catholic, whatever, uh, tithing. And I found that I, I've been tithing since I was a, a really a teenager. And I feel that it's it's really important. And so is giving to charities. Uh, we give a lot of money. I personally give a lot of money to my orphanage in Dominican Republic. When it first started, we had 13 kids, 13. And now we're over 40 kids. And so I give a very large amount of my income and my company's gross profits to the orphanage. In fact, um, we provide for every expense that those kids need. All their food, all their clothing, all of their education. We give them, set them computers. Uh, but then there's other donations that we need for new buildings and soccer fields and baseball fields and stuff. So it's really important that you actually give to charity, that you give. Now, there's a word that I do not say, and I'm only going to say it because I want you to think about this. See, I said that you give. Do you notice I said that I did not say to give back? Have you ever heard that term? To give back, that you should give back, give back, give back. Does anybody know where that came from. Let me know. I, I don't know how you can do it here. Chastity, what do they raise their hand or put some comments in there? Let me see if you guys are paying attention. Um, where do you think the term give back came from? And some people are, this is very controversial. And as you know, if you follow me at all, I speak from the heart. And if I offend some people, I offend some people. You know, I try to, I don't want to hurt someone's feelings, but I want you to think about this. Give back. I believe in giving, but I do not believe in giving back. And here's why. Uh, here's where it came from. There were some liberals, and I am, by the way, socially liberal, fiscally conservative. Uh, anything you do in your bedroom, anything you do in your house, as long as it doesn't hurt children, I don't care what you do. I don't care what you smoke. I don't care what you put in your arm. I don't care what you put up your nose. I don't care. As long as you're not hurting anybody and no children are involved, do whatever the hell you want to do. Don't care. Doesn't matter. So I am very socially liberal, but I'm very fiscally conservative. So there were some uh, non-entrepreneur, non-capitalist, basically communist, socialist, Marxists that come up with this term to give back. Because they felt that if you were an entrepreneur and you were providing a service to people and they bought it from you, they found value in what you were selling and they bought it, that you were technically stealing, that you were robbing, that you were taking advantage of them as a business owner. They didn't see that you were providing jobs, that you were stimulating the economy, that you were helping families. They think that if you are successful, that you are bad. And so they come up with this term to give back because you took from somebody. Think about that. If someone says, I'm going to give back, that means you took it from somebody. Words are really important. Words are really important. See, and so I don't say I'm going to give back because I never took it from you. I was given money providing services. I didn't take money from anybody. They willingly gave it to me because they found what I had to offer very valuable. So they gave Give me money in forms of a credit card or a line of credit or a loan or a promissory note. So I don't use that word to give back because I didn't take it from anybody. So therefore, I'm not going to give it back. Does that make sense? Now, you might think, Rhonda, you're absolutely in crazy. You're insane. That's just going too far. Well, I respect your opinion. I can respect everybody's opinion. I respect everybody's point of view. I don't understand everybody's point of view, but I can respect that they have a point of view and I want to understand it. But there are some things I just cannot understand.